Hey, welcome my groovy friends. You're kicking it back. You're chilling out with Larry, the pin bug guy. Welcome to Larry's Fountain Pin Review. I'm here in Fort Worth, Texas. Well, my good friends, today we're going to go back to an interesting pin that uh, supposed to be a vintage pin, supposed to be a new pin, supposed to be a going nib. And we'll go over all that here when I uh, run you through the, the pin. First of all, uh, the pin, I got it off eBay. Uh, it's a Waterman. Okay, and it comes in the case right here. Your standard usual Waterman blue case. Okay, and it does say box made in Thailand. Okay, that's interesting. So open it up. There's your pen in the back. There's again your uh, Waterman logo name. Very nicely done. This pulled out, and there's nothing underneath. And here is the pen. And we'll close that up. And let's talk about the pen. So, I, I won this in an auction at a great price. So, it's the Waterman Fountain Pen. Vintage black with gold trim. Condition new. Okay. And it doesn't look new to me. Uh... Got a medium sized nib, screw, it's a pull off cap with a medium sized nib. Gonna get a close up of that. And it's supposed to have a 14K gold nib stamped Waterman, Paris. Pin was only used once in order to test it. And it has been stored in pristine condition for the last 12 years. Uh, and pin shows the Waterman uh, seal on the stern right here. So, Okay, so I, I'd give it that sitting on a shelf that long for that many years. That's what attracted my attention. Now, I didn't see a 14K stamped on the nib. So, unless it's deeper into the grip section, then I don't know. I have to pull out the nib and check that out. But I will in time because I need to see if... It is a 14K nip. Uh, screw off cap. Now, the weight of the pen is 23.6 Gs. Uh, it's made in France, and the length of the cap, pen cap, as you see it, is 5.33 inches. And it does post nice and securely at 5.8 inches. It's very comfortable to write with. Without posting your pen, I have small hands, and it's still going to be fine for me. If you have large hands, you may have a problem, but I notice some people hold their pens right about up here, so you can still do that if that's how you use your pen at times. We all are different. Got a small grip section, and as you go down the barrel, there's no step off. goes right into the feed with another go ring around the bottom right here. And let's take a look at this nib. Two-tone nib. Supposed to be a gold nib. And then we'll look at the other side of the feed. And then we're going to open it up. And the converter does have Waterman made in France. So I'll give it that. I do have it filled with some Parker Black Quank ink right now. So this is the pen. And uh, up on top of the cap, you'll see a couple of gold bands right here. Of course, with Waterman right underneath. And then, uh, where it's made in France in the back. I do like the way the clip is shaped. It does have the Waterman logo right here. So it's a nice looking pen. And I got it at a great price. So not complain. So let's take a, a writing sample with the pen and see how it writes. On today's date, I'm just going to put that down because I can't. And that right was for now. Today is May. May the 1st. Wow. 
already here, isn't it? All right. It really writes nice. I like the way it writes. Medium nib. All right. Good um, little wet test here. Nice wet nib. Down stroke, cross stroke, down stroke, no pressure, and with just a little bit of pressure, and you're not going to get much of anything. So reverse. And you see it does do reverse writing very nicely. Downstroke with the pen held the regular way. And just for the heck of it, there it is on reverse. You definitely see a different line variation there. So there you have it, the Waterman. Uh, I'll probably have that nib off sometime next week and check it out. But... Uh, Regardless or not, I do like the pen. It's a good-looking pen. It's comfortable in the hand. 12-year-old uh, pen sitting there, been used once. And pens weren't made just to sit. Pens were made to be used. They need to be loved. They need to be held in someone's hand. Uh, so, if you see your pen just laying around that you haven't used in some time, pick it up ink it up and show it some love because that's what we're all about that's going to wrap it up today on larry's fountain pen review if you haven't hit that subscribe button yet hit that subscribe button fire it up baby because you know what we're going to rock when we get on this channel ain't nothing but a good thing see you soon peace love and all that jazz and don't forget don't text don't try see you later and i'm out of here